Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Okay. So, let's do, I'll be back later to do, oh, we gotta do weekend energy. It's Friday. Um, wow, this week flew by. Flew. Let's do the next couple days. It's kind of like weekend energy. Uh, all right. We might as well do weekend energy. I was going to do it live, but it doesn't make much sense for me to do the next couple days in all reality. Um, so... Let's do weekend energy, please. Weekend energy. Tower and the Two of Wands. So. Right off the bat, to me, it looks like someone didn't choose a path. So, the tower is going to come in. And tear some shit up. For some... For some, it, either that or it's it's somebody just trying to make a decision with a Scorpio, or a Scorpio needs to make a decision. You know, Six of Swords reversed. All right, so this is karma coming back around. Karma coming back around the mountain. So somebody who left a certain situation is now coming back around. Two of Swords are first. So this person really doesn't want to make that decision, but in all reality, they don't have much of a choice because the towel is here. All right, that's a, that's a universal blow. Okay. Um, it could be a good thing, but in this deck with this particular tower, I really feel like it's, uh, it's not, it's not going to be the greatest Somebody just didn't want to make a decision. And it has to do with your karma. Okay? So, again, it has to do with either any aspect of your life or, you know, a Scorpio. And see, yep, the lovers. So you're going to have a tower moment when it comes to the lovers. Um, and, again, that's a decision. But it has to do with a lover. So someone's foundation is definitely getting shaken. But I feel like this decision should have been made a while ago. Because this is kind of, in this deck, to me, it's normally like, when the Two of Swords comes out reverse, depending on what deck I'm using, sometimes for me it's really like a really difficult decision. But in this case, I feel like this person did not make a decision, did not address, you did not address your karma. You did not choose to move forward. This is somebody who's comfortably stagnant. But it has to either, so this has to be a past lover. Doesn't necessarily mean there's two. Because karma's coming back around. Could there have been at one point? Possibly. Or if there is somebody else in the picture, they're going to make it real easy to make that one go away. So the person gets on the right path, whether they go to that right person now or at another time. Yeah, see, two of pens reverse, juggling, not, not grounded, juggling too many scenarios, too many people, too many nights out, 
not not really focusing where you should be focusing. Now you have two, 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 and that that all talks about you know moving forward, and you're not. So somebody doesn't seem grounded enough to make a decision. Somebody built a wall and that wall is about to crash. Maybe someone fell in love with the wrong person. You know? And I don't know what you're doing. But the universe is about to knock it down anywho. So... Three of Pence. This is, to me, this is always my work card, a contract, you know, working together, teamwork, um, putting plans together. So this is a travel card for me, too. But it's also a comic contract sitting under the comic card for me with the Six of Swords being reversed. So... Or again, it could be a third party. I'm not quite sure, but I'm, you know, to me, it's a comic contract, and that's why the tower's here. Someone lost their soul to a woman heartless. You know, somebody went in the wrong direction. Well, you can't necessarily say it was the wrong direction. Well, yeah, I can, because if the tower's going to crash it down, but it was meant to be. So under the Two of Swords, you know, it, we got the Hierophant. So I don't know, with the Hierophant being reversed here, to me this is somebody who just doesn't, well, A, non-committal for sure. It looks like somebody could have got served divorce papers. And it took a long time for this person to make a decision whether or not they wanted to go through with their divorce. Um, looks like the Queen of, well, Queen of Pens at the bottom of the deck is not putting effort into something. Um, and this is also like a Grinch right now to me. Tell me about this high rep out. So you start, you start with a major arcana and you end with a major arcana. It, there's no way around it. It's spiritual. Two of cups, all right, and it's reverse. So there is a connection here, but there, it, there's also a connection that, that's no good. Okay? Or it's a beautiful connection, but it's broken. Okay? Um, you can look at it that way, too. But I already knew it had to do with the lovers. This is a very strong commitment <clears throat> that fell apart or is going to fall apart because someone's not choosing. That looks like a divorce. This looks like somebody had two, a couple people to choose from. Tell me about this lovers. So this is, you know, the tower. The universe is going to come in and be like, knock, 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 knock. Oh, damn, damn, six of cups reverse, coming back around, all right, soulmate coming back around, I, I mean, you, this connect is so strong, you have the six of cups, the lovers, and the two of cups, guys, even though that the six of cups and the two of cups is reverse, regardless, this was kind of one of those meant to be scenarios that didn't happen, whether you guys ended up together or not, somebody didn't confront their karma, and now the universe is like, boom, boom. You know, sometimes no matter how much you try, people build that wall and that's it. Sometimes you can't break the wall. She wants to get saved. I ain't going to save her. You got somebody here that's just selfish. <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. Three and a half at the bottom of the deck. All right. So I, I, at this point, I don't even, I wouldn't even want this person coming back around to me right now. And it's 66. All right. Um, 
moving forward, but this one's it's it's got to go backwards first. No matter what direction you go in with this particular person, I'm telling you right now, now would not be the time. I wouldn't even put effort into this. Sometimes you got to stop putting the effort in. You know, you give it a go, it doesn't work. You let it go. It looks like it, I mean, it looks like even possible uh, a work proposition and somebody still didn't want to even go there, okay? Or if, like, if you guys were getting a divorce, it's, you know, arguing over the bank account, assets, that type of stuff. Um, yeah, there's definitely two people here, too. Even though presently I don't see it. For some, there is. There's no question. <clears throat> oh, man. This is, um... Tell me about this three of pence. Because this is... That's like a work proposition. Or like I said, you're talking to the lawyers. You're talking to a counsel. You're talking... You're talking, you know. But still, somebody's being not great. All right, so the eight of swords, but it's reversed, which is great. So it, it's like it's not even phasing you like that. Like you're you're not trapped in a situation. Okay, it looks like possibly somebody could have reached out. The past could have came back around, type thing. Try to clear up karma, talk about work, that type of stuff. Somebody's not using their spirituality. They're not seeing the connection. They don't want to make a decision. Regardless, the universe is gonna come in and be like, knock knock. Okay. And this other person that tried to reach back out, if it hasn't happened yet, someone is going to come back around. And if they already did reach out, you know, it's, it's like, it's one of those whatever's, you know, whatever, you know, like I tried, you know, you didn't, you didn't want to, you didn't want to put effort into something here. So I don't know if that other person thinks it's strictly just about this connection, but it doesn't look that way to me. It looks like somebody wants to make a, a business proposition, something like that, you know? And it's like, nope. And then here comes the universe with a tower. And whoever made this proposition, whoever reached out, came back around. Somebody else didn't even give it a shot. They shut it down without even kind of like however they felt, you know, but the one that reached out was just kind of like, okay, whatever. Tell me about this tower. It looks like somebody tried to put somebody like on in the correct direction. All right. The emperor reversed. So the emperor, whether it's man or female is losing their patience, their mind, irritable, arrogant, not focused, not driven, being a pisser, trying to control things, okay? So the tower is like, psh, psh. it's only a matter of time. That hasn't hit yet, okay? And it's almost like if it's the same person, it's like they're almost, it's like they're desiring the past a little bit. And they're thinking about the past for damn sure, but I don't know if they have somebody else. So they're just like, I'm not doing this. But at the same time, this person, it looks like that reached out. They don't even, they, yeah, there was a commitment, but it wasn't even about a commitment this time around because they're not phased. I mean, they may be phased a little bit with the Eight of Swords reversed. They, they're, they're not phased. You know, they're just like, okay, I, I don't know what to say. Because when this person came back around, yeah, it's a comic contract, but that's, that's work. I think this person thinks somebody wants a relationship with an old connection. For others, that's a straight up divorce. For others, you're dealing with a straight up hood rat. Okay, let it go. Somebody arrogant. So... Two of Swords, some of Two of Swords reverse. In this deck, like I said, this is somebody that refused to make a decision. Or it's just somebody who just does not want to be in a commitment. All right. Yeah. See, judgment. Didn't make that judgment call. Didn't want that second chance. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody honestly thought 
that this had to do, it was probably an old connection. Somebody obviously thought like, I'm not even going to bother because I don't want this connection. I don't want this lover. I don't want this. But to me, it, it, it wasn't even about, it wasn't even about a lover for some, for some, it was straight up a work proposition or money. You know, tell me about those two of pence. Um, I, I said two of pence. I wanted the six of swords. Two of pence, two of pence. Because, you know, the five of wands reversed. All right. The, so it looks like being linked right here, this person just wanted to come out of conflict too. So they can get on their path. I don't think they were intentionally. So this person didn't intentionally try to cause a tower. They don't want stuff like that to go down, but it's going to because this person doesn't want to confront karma. So what's the Six of Swords? So to me, the Six of Swords was, you, again, this is work. This is some type of, even a, some type of spiritual work, too, with the Hierophant sitting right there. All right. See? Yeah. Eight of Pence. They work together. This was a work contract. Somebody wanted to discuss work and somebody wasn't having it. Okay. I knew I felt it. I don't know. This person, it looks like, still has to make a judgment call. But I don't think they will for whoever this is for because they really think that you want a relationship. But in all reality, you're, you're seeking out a business proposition here. And that can be a successful one. But again, now you got this person that's just like, I I'm not being bothered with you no more either. Because you're not understanding. You're not listening. You're not understanding. You think I want one thing. This one can't be bothered anymore. So you got a couple different situations. It's a little tricky. You know, it's tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <clears throat> That's how it's coming in. And you're not going to be happy. That is for damn sure. Whoever this is going to hit is not going to be a happy camper. Woman or female. Woman or female. Female, male, it, divine, feminine, masculine. It doesn't It doesn't even matter. All right. Someone's not going to be happy. And even if it's that person reaching out and they got the tower moment because somebody doesn't want to choose because it can go that way too. They lost their patience with this person. If they're dealing with a squat, they lost their patience with that person. That work proposition, done. Done. You know, it, it seriously is one of those type of situations. Where are you going? Oh, okay. I'm going to need scissors to finish cutting her hair. You're going to have to stop at the pharmacy. I can't find mine. All right. Yeah, just get hair scissors with a black comb. Can I get toothpaste? Yeah. Okay. I love it too. I gotta cut a couple of my kids' hair, uh, kids' friends' hair that are donating at school today, and I can't find my hair kit. It's been a long time, but I have a nice pair of scissors somewhere. Just cut hair. Anywho, um, so if it was the past, I kind of come back around. Now they're just kind of like, whatever. It really is that type of energy. <clears throat> To me, it looks like it could even be same sex, but I don't think so. But to me, I mean, it's a, it's a, obviously it's a past lover too. Ex-husband, ex-wife, girlfriend, it doesn't matter. But it looks like one's spiritual, maybe one's a business owner or vice versa. But it still didn't manage to come together for the main purpose. The main purpose, and I know some of you are not going to like that, but that the main purpose was a work contract here. For others, it was just working together and working themselves out of a third party. But, I mean, I, I don't see it like that. I mean, for few, it is like that, though. And for few, it's ending marriages. So, it's tough. It's, it's, it's tough because somebody's not seeing what somebody actually wants. You know what I'm saying? I think somebody honestly thinks somebody wants to reconnect and wants a second chance type thing, vice versa. There's got to be love. I don't know if somebody thinks it's obsession. I haven't seen obsession on my board in a while, okay? So this person's considering walking back. Somebody is to make a certain decision with the eight of wands at the bottom. So it looks like somebody might be considering reaching out because that tower is going to come in. You know, 
possibly, and that's a double eight again, but those double eights, I remember we had that last week. That's all about money, finances, material moving forward. But somebody thinks they want that connection back because they used to be lovers. See, I told you this work thing was going to come back around. Some, some, some lovers or ex-husband or wife, they are going to be business partners. But now I don't, this one, if it was the one that went back around male or female with the emperor, they lost their patience with their past. You know, regardless of a bond, that's like a spiritual bond too. Regardless, they're, they're over it. Like, and now that's 888. See what I'm saying? Like, it it's it's almost like because somebody didn't this person didn't want to understand and make a decision this person didn't want to reach out and hear somebody out that it just caused all of this and maybe they don't or maybe it's the other way around you know then and this particular gentleman because the gender on my card wanted something to work out kind of wanted that relationship and maybe the other person didn't they wanted strictly work it could go it could fall in either category you know, but the woman in these ones are the ones that's not trapped. The gentleman is like losing their patience, you know, but for somebody who's irritable and like that, that can be masculine or feminine right now, considering it's under the lovers, the six of cups, it's who's ever in that, in the masculine energy right now, because it's got to be either or, you know, it doesn't always have to be that particular source, that particular, um, just because you're female doesn't mean you have to be in female energy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, all right, this is, uh, it's tricky. Oh, the eights are already out. I thought there was only two and there was, a, then there was the eight of wands. Holy crap. So the three eights are already out, ladies and gents. That would have been four eights. See, it was meant to come together and it didn't. So, but somebody's being stubborn and pigheaded thinking it's one thing when it's actually another. Could it possibly be both? Yeah, but I don't, you know, is there a lot of love here and a connection? Yep. But somebody just doesn't want it. Somebody built that wall, whether it was you or this person, but one is refusing to, to, to let it down. They don't have a choice anymore. The universe is going to come in and, and knock that shit down. I don't know what aspect of your life. It could be a business. It could be your work. It could be your work. But to me, if you got another relationship, they're going to make sure it goes it goes down. And it's going to be one of those situations where you're like, everything was going good. And now all of a sudden, like somebody's out. Like what? Like what? Like what? It is going to be like that, ladies and gents. That happens. It's a thing. I guarantee you've experienced it before. Your friends have experienced it. Don't think that shit won't happen to you. That this is so universal. It's one of those situations where I almost said, you might want to check yourself. And I haven't used that expression in a long time. Okay? So this is ultimately what we're looking at. We got death at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords. It's it's with the ten of pence. Hoo-wee! Um, to me, this is somebody leaving straight up a Capricorn or it's dead. Because I think it's this woman, because now it's, again, not worried, again, with the eight of wands, you know, not worried. Focus on the pence. Like I said, it was money. It was money related to this person. Okay, you want to self-sabotage that shit? You don't want nothing to do with it? Maybe they're dealing with a cappy. You're dealing with a cappy. Okay, peace out. Deuces. Toodaloo. Okay? So, that's... I don't know if that's... Re that's what went down for some, and I don't know if spirit's like, nah... We got to fix that shit because this is a contract. But now this other person that's tried is now kind of like, they're kind of a little bit of a pissa. Mm, possibly if it's that person. Otherwise, it's just like toodaloo. It toodaloos. No, no, no sweat off my back type thing. You know, because it didn't look like they put too much effort in, but enough to reach out. You know, so... Let's see if we can get an angel card. I'm going to wrap this up. I got a couple things to do and I'll be back later, Gators. So it looks like, you know, one of those weekends that's just kind of like, eh. You know, like, mm. so just try to be positive. Make the best of it. We got the full moon, ladies and gents. It doesn't, I don't see too much moon energy here affecting anyone per se, like too, too much. 
okay? Unless this tower comes in hard. It just depends on who and how it comes in. It, to me, it might be more emotional than anything, but I don't, I don't see, I don't see tears. I don't, I don't see liquor like that. I don't, I don't see anger. I see a little impatience. I, I see like stubborn. I see a, a, you know, someone's being a jackass, a stubborn ass, not wanting to see something more or less. But I mean, if that, that could irritate that person's weekend for sure, if that's you, but the other one, I think that was like trying to reach out. They're like, okay, peace out. I'm focused on my pence. I mean, the ten of pence, the eight of pence, the three of pence, this mama, or it could be a gentleman, but gender by my card, really is just like, do to do I don't see her. She doesn't have emotions in this. That connection's not there. They're not in a relationship. She tried reaching out. She looks like she's just trying to hash out karma. Looks like she was trying to help. So you're dealing with somebody who's very, very spiritual and knows, knows what can happen, knows consequences. It's that type of thing, you know? So I don't know where that stands now because she's not even in the picture now. It's this one that's got to have make a choice whether or not they're going to walk back and fix this. In the middle of the night, in my dreams... So, obviously, people are dreaming of something, but, like, it, it's, like, I, I don't even see how I can correlate this song. Like, I, I get the dreams, but, like, this one's not dreaming of that one no more. That connection's done. They they know it's there, but that's not what's on their mind. This is a work-driven possible female or it could be a male and feminine energy, vice versa. But that's what that is. That's why that person reached out. <clears throat> so, and I just, my throat again. So, somebody doesn't want to talk. And, and others, you just straight up, you go into a, diver, a divorce. Any other information, weekend energy. Um, it looks like somebody just tried to confront something. Somebody reached out. I could possibly be another lover on the board. I don't know if I necessarily see it like that. I think it's just talking about an incredibly strong, strong bond. Okay. Um, got the king of fire. You know, it, this is to me is whomever this is for with the emperor being reversed. If it's coming as the king of fire is saying, focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader. Go advise, go talk to somebody and go and go do something creative or get advice for someone creative. Be motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, you know, but instead of being this person right this second, someone's a pisser. All right. So it, it, it is the male energy, but I don't know who's carrying it. All right. So it's, it's, it's tough because they're saying go. Someone's not focused. Someone's Someone needs to change their focus. I honestly think this person thinks that they just want a lover back. And I'm telling you, it is not the case. Someone wants to... This person's spiritual. They want to clear up karma. Like, this is somebody who knows how something works and how something goes down. And I don't know if they felt obligated to reach out. If, you know, the moon kind of had a little bit of effect. Some emotions kicked in. I don't know... They could have been all sweet and like, I love you or I miss you. I mean, because it, it, Six of Cups reverse, that's missing somebody. They could have been sweet, but I mean, that could just be their character. You know, somebody's not focused on the right thing. Or maybe they want the lover situation and they know the other one just all wants work. So now they're frustrated. But I don't know. It just looks like if something actually gets addressed and you put your focus where it actually belongs, which is the fucking future with this two of wands, obviously live in the moment. But like this is future driven energy on my board. OK, um, so another reason why, you know, another reason why um, I spaced it because. What I was going to say is that I'm telling you right now, this person who didn't face their karma, you better watch your tongue at work. 
Well, I don't know if you're sleeping with somebody at work. It doesn't matter how that's going to go down, but you better watch your tongue at work because it's one of those, if you're that type of frustrated, you could say the wrong thing. So that's another reason why they might be stressing you to change your focus, especially if you're at work, because I don't know what type of company you work for, but if you lose your composure or something goes down, they might say, you need to leave. You need to leave. You're out, especially with the two of wands. You're done. You're done. You know the rules. I was just about to say something corporate. Because an emperor could own a business too. A business partner can back out. I'm telling you, this it is something. So be smart. Be smart. You're letting energy get the best of you. You got to change your focus. You think somebody wants this one particular thing. And I think you're dead wrong. I mean, could that person want both or want it all? Possibly. But, you know, try to live in the moment. But at the same time... Whatever your focus is on when it comes to the future for this person is on the right, wrong type of focus. You know, it's not the, it's not where your focus should be. See, strength, you know, you, it, release the harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion because this emperor is losing their shit. They're not focusing the right way. I don't, I don't know what the F they're focused on, but I mean, I'm starting to feel it like, Whoa, so I'm pre-warning you when it, whatever this thing too, if, if it's work, I, I'm telling you, please, please watch your tongue. Okay. Um, and then you got the night of earth. It's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. Move forward. So again, now I'm going to put it up a little more. Again, they're telling you to move forward. And I don't, you know, they're not saying you got to F and rush in. What they're saying is... Just go. And that person, the knight of earth is is dependable, dedicated, honorable, loyal, kind. This person is work-driven too. You know, so I don't know. Because if you're coming up as the king of fire too, with the emperor reverse, you could be dealing with somebody. Because the, the king of fire, I mean, he takes action and gets stuff done. But at the same time, they're not always a committed person. The emperor could be married, but more committed to work and other projects versus really the wife. There's a lot here, guys. Holy cow. But they're encouraging you to have the strength to move forward. At least find out. At least deliver a message. At least return the message. So it's not that person that delivered the message. It's the other person's tower. So it's not even this person. This person, I don't even know where they're at. They're, they're so focused, again, on their money that you want to self-sabotage this? Like, I'm not self-sabotaging my situation anymore. Like, um, no. No, I tried to reach out. Like, no, I'm focused on my money. I'm not focused on you. No, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to move forward. And that's the queen of pence. And damn, is she standing her ground? Okay, so in the, the three of hearts, again, was reversed. So obviously there's emotions involved here, okay, because it was a past lover. It's clear as day. But this is the one that's being driven to take action and to deliver a message. They're not saying you got to freaking fly in like you're freaking Superman, you know, but I, I poo, address karma. I, I don't think you have a choice. Honest to God, I really feel like that's not going to be the best tower. Please be careful. And especially now that we got all the work stuff connected too. please, if you work on the weekends, whether you're at home, corporation, it, it please be careful. It really is that type of energy. Watch your tongue. This is a pre-warning for someone, some t some group, all because they're losing when it comes to whatever this past lover is. They're letting that energy get the best of them, and that's that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, see the empress. Here we go. It's like a life partner or an ex-wife or a business partner. I'm telling you, it's something. But this is like, this is lavish abundance. This is giving birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself. What they're saying is going towards this emperor. You basically got a court couple here. Go towards this empress. Okay? Or use this empress energy and nurture. But to me, this is what you're supposed to be going towards because this is where it's going. Okay? So, again would make sense with the lover right there all right come out of hermit mode type thing you got the four of wands right here contentment peace abundance happy home successful completion of a project a new career so it's either way six of air move forward 
get out of this situation. Things are going to look up. Take a trip. So somebody's got to take a trip, which makes sense because we already see the travel right there anyway. So it's on this person. I don't know when it's going to happen. You know, it's weekend energy, but this could, you know, give or take. It could have already happened or it could be a couple weeks. It looks like this message already went through. It looks like the past already tried to reach out because this person right here knows something. I think this person is the empress. They know something. But I'm telling you, the, the Empress, she's where, she's on her ten of pence. She just she just killed this situation. She pulled the kill switch. I'm sure she's still got love for this person, clearly. The connection's here. But it doesn't need to be put together. She's not worried about that. There's no worry. There's no fear here. It's this other person that has to make this judgment call. It's the other person that needs to walk towards their karma, their past. It's like, whoa, whoa. This is not going to be a good tower. I'm telling you. I don't like the way that feels. So now that we got that, let's get the best advice for the, this woman, this empress. Her best advice, you know, it's not about, it doesn't matter what she's up to. She's working on her ten of pence. Or she's sitting pretty, enjoying enjoying company, friends, relatives, buying gowns, going to events. Like, she's got an agenda. She's no joke. Her agenda is on fire. On fire. Living a lavish life, or she's about to step into one. That is for damn sure. So, any advice for this empress, in case you guys, you know, are the empress and, you know, certain energy hits you. But right now, you're, you're good. Yeah, but it's, it can't be easy because there's obviously love here and you tried, you know. So, again, the A to A reversed. An illusionary of being trapped, okay? So... This means being reversed, afraid to take action. But here's the deal. What this is telling me is that, because <laughs> I don't read these reversed. What this is telling me is because you're like with that eight of swords, you're a whatever. That means that tower is going to come in. That means this person's going to come back around. And then you're going to get like this again because I don't know why. There's no reason. So something's going to get stirred up. That puts you here. So that's a little frustrating for those who are in that situation because right now you're good. I mean, I don't normally ever read these reversed, ladies and gents. But that eight of swords was, again, those two eights, that's all about money and finances, you know. But and she can have a business. He can have a business. It's like, whoa, he's got to got strength to go in. I don't know what that's all about. I think maybe because they're thinking they're not, their focus is off. I think they're thinking something that's just, or maybe they want it all. I don't know. You would know. It's your scenario. But what this is telling me, it's saying it's an illusion of feeling trapped, lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So if this person actually reaches back out with those eight of wands, but you already attempted to, to you, this is it. See, that backfired. But the universe is, I, I'm going to have to pull one more, but that just backfired because you try to reach out and do the right thing. All right. But you, you stood your ground. You're out. You're not letting it bother you. You ended it. You're worried. You're not worried. You're focused. You're focused on your pence. You're focused on the six of wands right there moving forward. So I, now I see it because it's going to, that's why the three of air probably kept coming. I mean, the three of hearts, the swords, ding, kept coming back because now you're going to hear something. If this person reaches out when it happens, because it will, because it's the universe now had to step in again. So, whoa. Okay. That, that what ends up being your energy. <clears throat> or you're going to brush it off because it's dead to you now. And it's not you being a, a pisser because that connection's there, but that's not what you were looking for. So I don't know if now you got angry with this person and now maybe they feel your energy. I don't know the scenario when tables turn like that. You don't know. See the bottom of the deck? Now you're the queen of air. All right, you're not dealing with no bullshit, but it says objective decision-making. Clear away what no longer serves you Seeing and trying to see the humor in a situation. I don't think you think this is going to be funny. I'll tell you that. But you're independent. You're realistic. You're reliable. You know, you're not taking no bullshit. You're focused. You're focused on the future. You're focused on moving away from this person. 
You're like, you want to keep me in a fucking bubble? You want to come back around? You want to keep me in a bubble? So this person knows how to manipulate, especially with the emperor coming in reverse. You're dealing with a straight up manipulator too. I don't know how this is going to play out, but it seems to me that you're more than capable to handle this. Okay. So, you know, this was additional messages, not necessarily best advice, but you're like a bubble. Pfft. I'm going to keep my ass in a bubble away from your ass. Like you're not taking my energy nothing. And that's, that's the empress. That's, this is the empress for damn sure. She's not focused. She's putting that shit in a bubble. She's sending it off to the ethers. She's, she had enough. So this must have been some type of intense connection with this person. That's what I'm saying. Like whether it was a husband, a wife, a long time relationship, or if it's a twin, it's something like that. Whatever it is, it's powerful. Judgment, six of cups, like you had the four of wands. I mean, it's, it's whoa. It is whoa. Okay. So let's get the best advice for, and that's reversed again, but I don't want it. All right, it's, but the three of air came out again. That's the third time I've seen it. And again, but it was reversed. Do you see, I don't know what this, I'm, I don't want to read it reversed, ladies and gents, okay? But it's saying it's time to heal and forgive yourself or others. So here's the deal. This When this person comes in, it is going to stir up emotions clear as day. But right now, you're the queen of air. You're not having it. So this person obviously by not reaching out, you're kind of like, whatever, but then they come back around and you're like, no, no, I, that's it. I had it. I drew the line, but you're going to have to talk about it. It's, it's so divine because you already know it is, you know, but let's get the best advice because that's what came out, you know, unless that is the best advice and it's just telling you, you need to forgive this person. And this person needs to forgive you with judgment too. They're asking both of you guys to forgive. And then you got the lovers. Intimate relationships. Weigh out your decisions. In good health. See what I'm saying? So I don't know if now this person was going to step in. And now they want that lover thing. But you're focused on work. See what I'm saying? You guys are not on the same page at all. At all. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hang in there, guys, okay? If this goes down this weekend, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little rough, all right? And it's literally saying, um, next to the lovers, and Jemmy had this too. Don't give up. Protect what was created between the two of you and have courage. Believe in yourself and believe in magic. So I don't know, and it's looking right over and they're looking at each other. And the lovers, not well, it's a, it's a Jemmy card, but the Gemini reading was about not giving up. So I don't know if this person gave up and reached out one more time, but this one's no joke right now. It's not that she's a bitch or she's mad. It's just, she's so tired of this person thinking it's one thing and not talking about what needs to be discussed. You're dealing with somebody very spiritual over here, you know, but the divine does not want the two of you to give up. So your best advice for the gentleman <clears throat> is going towards this woman. Best let me just get it again. Best advice for this this pissed off emperor. And it could just be somebody it's just telling me because it's reverse this emperor is, you know, agitated, pissed off. Doesn't necessarily have to be a business owner or a husband or anything like that. They're just now like what the fuck? Cuz now they're getting spiritual stuff sent at them and I don't know if they're ignoring it. They've been ignoring it. They're hearing things, seeing things, but see, they know. They know too. So it's just like, woo wee. Woo wee. And my throat hurts like like I'm being shut down. So I don't know if this person or that person shut this situation down. But the best advice for them, gentlemen, is it's the six of earth. Go in and balance out the damn scales. It's a new career opportunity. Receiving a loan or paying off debts, it's gifts of money. So if you, what this is saying, and we've talked about that before, and I don't like that shit, but I'm not going to make it personal. But if you go to this person, it's like a universal gift. It's abundance all the way around. That money is going to flow. And I think that's the message you've been getting because I just was talking about that. So I don't know if the divine's driving you in, but see, 
if that's the case, it might be all good because this one wants just no, I don't know necessarily, but this one's focused on money. This mama, this empress, it's about money for her. But it looks like he he thinks it's that he thinks it's the lover thing. But even if he wants the lover thing, or he doesn't, the divine does. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, but basically go in and clear out karma. But this is basically <laughs> the universe is if the two of you can make this work, they're gonna bless you. And that's come up before, and we've talked about it. But I don't want to get into it because this I can feel it all damn day. That that's what it is. So I don't know if someone bubbled this off, shielded it off, and said, I'm I'm going without. I'm going without, and there's no effing way. It's fucking dead. I can feel it now, okay? Like, I'm done. But I love you, but I'm done, you know? So it's going to be a complicated situation for the whomever is involved here, for either one, both of them, both of them, because the universe, for the best advice, is this one's don't give up. This So this person gave up. This mama gave up on this person and the universe is saying don't and the universe is telling this person don't, but they're also kind of like leading them towards money, which is nuts. So you might be dealing with somebody who's very materialistic and this is their way in because I'm telling you, they're going to make good money together regardless, but someone's fighting it. Maybe they don't want the love or connection. Well, surprise, this person don't want it like that either. Maybe in due time, I, you know, it's it's receiving loans, payments, paying off debts, new career opportunity, and that's what she reached out for. See what I'm saying, yo? And it's forty six, forty six. Okay, so the universe. Let me get my phone and Google that. Really wants the two of you to kind of be together and, and do it all, but maybe in due time. Try not to think about it, you know. So it's like the two of you are not on the same page. And the song that's on right now, I believe, I believe, I believe in me. Like, it's it's bad in love, bad at love. So somebody feels like they don't either deserve somebody or somebody doesn't want to love. Somebody doesn't want to take a leap of faith or somebody thinks they just suck at love. It, but it doesn't matter. You guys got to get on the same page. There's no avoiding it. Things are just going to get worse and worse and worse. And this one, considering spiritual... They knew and they tried. They tried to fix. And when it's not time, it's not time. But this one knew. This one knew something was supposed to go down like that. But I think this one reached out for this. But might have been, might have been like, oh, I love you. I miss you type energy because of this. Missing the past. Because it's telling me a story. And kind of how, for some of you, how it went down. You know? So I think they... I think they thought that you wanted that connect back or, or intimacy. And it's like, that was the furthest thing from your mind. You were just trying to, you would, you would just see, I didn't mean to frustrate, but you did frustrate the shit out of somebody, but that's on them. It's not the Empress's fault that that went down that way. You can't blame me for trying. So this one thinks they're bad at love. That's probably why they need courage to go in. See, you guys need a conversation. This needs to be hashed out, fixed. Karma needs to be cleared. I don't think she thinks she's a know-it-all, but she definitely knew. She definitely knew. But she, maybe she should have tried a different approach. It doesn't matter how it went down. And if it hasn't happened yet, maybe you should try a different approach because this person's going to think this. But I don't want you to tell. I don't want to tell you to try to change your mind when it comes to anything either. You're going to reach out how you want to reach out. You're so afraid I'm going to walk away, you know? And I think it's this one because of whatever happened. Because you guys were a past lover. So this is, this is, whoa. Let me just get you 4646. I got stuff to do. This one kept me for a while. <clears throat> okay. When the four and six number combination repeats in your life, it's an indication that the angels are cautioning you to focus too much. You're too focused on the material world. You may be losing sight of your life purpose and worries about anxiety and taking over your thoughts. Your angels ask you to let go. These are worries that are hindering the positive flow of energy. The angels are asking you to surrender to them in order for things to go better on your behalf and to ease everything that's going on in your situation. Holy shit. Okay, so that message is for that person. I told you, too focused on material things. You better watch your tongue at work too. <clears throat> so the universe is pushing them in with money in a way too. 
they're trying to tell this person in a good way, abundance all the way around if you step forward. So I don't think it's like, oh, go in and just get money because they want more than that. So it's not necessarily that, but that's exactly what that is. They're cautioning you and this person's being cautious, but they're telling you you're too focused in the material world. You may be losing sight of your life purpose or worries, anxieties are taking over. You are losing focus because the emperor is reversed. So now, like I said, that universe might take money away from you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is, this is, whoa. I mean, this is what this is. You're letting the anxiety overtake your thoughts. You know, let go of the worries that are hindering the positive flow. Again, ask the angels are asking you to surrender. And they sure are with the, the six of earth balancing out the scales. Like, so almost like surrender to the empress and that aggravates you but it, it's not like that like haha ha, like bow down it's not like that this one wouldn't even expect it it's she's not that type of empress this one's this one's passionate i mean look at this empress she's an angel for for damn sake you know um my goodness let me see because it was 46, 46 together. Um, I know in numerology, it, it does talk about, it, it's a huge symbolic, but it has stability. Um, so let me just get the, the sequence, because that was the four and the six, but you can put it together, obviously, is what they did. But I want to see when the four of them are together, sometimes it, it words it a little differently and they don't got one for it, which is shocking. I mean, I'm sure they do somewhere if you spent time looking for it. Okay. Um, it basically, it's just, if it's, if it's double or even tripled, it's just, it's amplified. Okay. But it also says you need to let go of your materialistic needs. All right. So you're dealing with somebody very materialistic. So I'm surprised they're not coming in. No one kind of like, there is a money opportunity, but I think they think this is what it is though. I think they think that, that you want that loving situation left. Maybe you have a family being the empress. Maybe they think you want this relationship back. And in all reality, I don't think this woman does. This woman reached out because of money, but I think the way the messages, the messages were misconstrued because someone's being a pissa and the story. Woo wee. That was long. Okay. I, I wish you guys the very best. I really hope you guys can manage to get on the same page for for the sake of yourselves, you know, in spirit, because it's 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 being orchestrated. It's been orchestrated. So I love you guys so much. All right. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye guys.